guys. Uh, the 33-point margin of victory for Nebraska, I believe, matched the largest margin of victory for Nebraska in, in a Big Ten Conference game. Uh, the previous uh, number was also 33, and that was against Michigan on January 29th, I believe, 2013, in case you were to that thing. Uh, questions for the players? Say, Jazz, you uh, didn't score until the fourth quarter, but you almost had a double-double with assists and rebounds. Did that, your leading scorer coming into this game, did that kind of bother you a little bit? or? Is... Um, I think a piece of my game that's valuable to the team is, be, is knowing when I need to show out. I mean, today I think we needed someone to get on the boards. We needed someone to dish out passes. And I think I played that role more today, which I think was more suited. And we won by 33 points, so we don't need me to score like that. So I thought, no, it didn't bother me. How much rust did you guys have? Sorry? How much rust do you think you guys had? I mean, that was impressive for us to come out with that win, I think. We definitely went through the ups and downs these last two weeks with who was in and out with COVID, and it was just incredible for us to get back on the floor together. We've seen different matchups at practice. We've seen five pe seven people there. We've seen 11 people there. It's, it's, I mean, it's just incredible for us to mm -hmm. still have that flow coming back from that type of adversity. Alexis, how kind of big of a stretch is this having after tonight another three straight um, I think it's really good um, with coming off of a week and a half off um, and to be home is just a big advantage for us and it's good coming off that stress like I said um, but yeah there's nothing like a home court advantage so we're really happy to be playing in front of our um, home fans for the next few games. Jess, what did you uh, think of Australia night? It was cool. <laughs> I mean I haven't heard the anthem and a little while now, so it was kind of nice, a little awkward, but it was it was really cool. I was really happy that everyone showed out. I mean, Lex's family showed out the most. We had some people in kangaroo onesies and stuff. I mean, <laughs> and it was it was awesome. Your parents were here, right? Yeah, my parents were here. When was the last time they got to see you play? In person, probably about before my freshman year, just before I came over to university. So where did you? to have them here. So. It's incredible. I mean, they're just so excited to be here. They're just like kids in a candy store right now, just being able to see the life that I'm living. They just see it through virtual. So it's, it's awesome for them to see this now. It's also so nice to, like, Ruby's parents are also here and to meet them. Like, you hear so much about them. And these girls haven't seen their families in two years. Like, I mean, I, like, saw it, and we were, like, all kind of getting emotional. Like, like I can't imagine not seeing my family for two years or let, yet alone not being home. So. Um, I'm just super happy that they get to be with their families right now. So, Lexus, what's it like when you see the scouting report and you see that you guys might be able to have an advantage inside and be able to get lots of touches inside and rebounds inside? Yeah, uh, we knew that they were smaller. They kind of play all guards. Um, number three was a guard last year and is playing post now. So we knew we'd probably have that advantage. And um, they're going to play a little bit of zone. So we knew that we could uh, crush O boards hard. and. Um, really get it inside, which I felt felt like the guards did a really good job of finding us in one on one. And yeah. Anything else, guys? Alexis, I think I look back, and this is your sixth straight game with double digit points. Um, in this six game stretch, what's really built your confidence to really play a role in this offense? Um, I think my teammates have really instilled confidence in me, and um, that's helped me play better. Um, I think I'm finishing um, at a lot higher percentage than I have in the past, in the beginning of this year. Um, so I think that gives them the confidence to throw the ball in more. So um, they're finding me in good spots, and I'm able to not even take a dribble and go up. So um, a lot of credit to my teammates for the amazing passes. And um, I just think I'm uh, working on finishing, and it's really showing on the court. So. Alexis, what do, you, what do you think of Jazz? I mean, she doesn't score until the third quarter, but I mean, she's still one of the best players on the floor. And great yeah. Passes of what do you think Jazz is leading us in every category um, uh, rebounds, steals, block shots, points. So she's just a very special player. And for her to come, come here and say, I don't really care about scoring is really special. And that's what makes her even more of a special player um, to just be humble like that and not need to score points and just dish the ball. and. Um, I love having a teammate like that, and um, playing with her is just so much fun. So, anything else, guys? All right, we'll have Coach Williams in a minute. Thank you. Thank you.